Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Balm meditation service that we are offering during this time. And I also believe that this is the last of the meditation services that we will be offering during this time until further notice. Um, yes, so this is the last of the meditation services and actually so far in the group coaching schedule this is uh, the last day of all the extra services we are offering during this world health crisis starting tomorrow april 8 it will resume back to the normal schedule i believe so starting tomorrow, the only bomb offering that we have is the evening interview phone call at 9 p.m. So welcome to this meditation brought to you by the Bomb Training Institute for Family Recovery Services. This is Family Recovery Coach Mike DeForbes. And today... I am going to do a, another self-inquiry meditation. So many times uh, meditations do have um, centering practices in them, visualizations in them, people guiding you through it, a lot of talking, and that's what I will be doing today. And hopefully this will be a relaxing meditation, even though there will be me talking and guiding you through it. So for those looking for a centering practice, though, let me just start off with a 448. But I want you to know that this will also be an interactive meditation, since this will be the last one that we will be doing until further notice. So let me just start off with the BOM FRR favorite that seems to be the favorite of the great majority of participants in the BOM, which is the 448. And so let me just start with that. Everybody get into a nice relaxed position. Make sure that you are relaxed but attentive. And I'm going to do three counts of the 448. That is breathe in to a count of four, two, three, four, like that. A little bit slower than that. And then I'll then I'll say hold it, two, three, four, and then breathe out to a count of eight. And I'll repeat that cycle three times. Okay, so let's everybody start off with a deep cleansing breath. And let's begin. Breathe in to a count of four, two, three, four. Hold it, two, three, four. And breathe out to a count of eight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again, breathe into a count of four, two, three, four. Hold it, two, three, four. And then breathe out to a count of eight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again, breathe into a count of four, two, three, four. Hold it, two, three, four. And breathe out to a count of eight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And let's do one more of this. Breathe into a count of four, two, three, four, hold it, two, three, four, and breathe out to a count of eight, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Take another cleansing breath. And hopefully from that 448, we have gotten into a somewhat peaceful mindset in our consciousness. And what I want to do is what I will call a gratitude meditation, a gratitude 
meditation. So why am I doing gratitude meditation during a time like this? Because during types of times like this, these types of times where there is massive uncertainty, a lot of suffering, a lot of anxiety, many, many medical problems, things seem up in the air. The mind may get discombobulated, anxious, fearful, possibly even terrified, and it will desperately search in its consciousness for some answer, something to feel good, something to feel peaceful. And we have our centering practices that don't involve the mind, usually. They involve not using the mind, like the 448. They involve just being mindful, staying present. And that's fine. And that works for many people. And that's very good. And I want to introduce another idea that the mind is a tool and it can be used to give you peace. It can be used productively to help you to feel good, to help you to even feel a sense of confidence and purpose. The main problem that most of us have is the mind uses us. We forget how powerful we are and we think that all we are in this consciousness is the mind and it controls us a lot of the time causing us suffering and we have forgotten that the mind is simply a tool for the survival of this body and for a lot of us it has ended up controlling us so i'm trying to create this gratitude meditation to help to use the mind for something more purposeful and more for what its function was originally meant for, to be used by us, to help give us peace, to help give us a feeling of feeling good. And so we can do that by asking ourselves a simple question. And I'm going to ask this question, and then I'm going to go down the list of all the participants here. I'm going to ask you, if you don't mind, to speak to the class. Um, if you do not wish to speak at all, you can just say, pass, and then I'll just go on to the next person. Um, or you can write it in the chat box. So what I'm going to ask everyone to speak on, hopefully everybody is in a relaxed mood, feeling peaceful. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go silent for one minute. I've already done a 448 for the class, for this group. I'm going to go silent for one minute. And I'm going to ask you to use your own centering practice right now before I ask you this gratitude meditation question. And then go down the list to each person answering that question but it's really important to be in touch with the peace that you already are so whatever quickest easiest way you have to access the peace and everybody's different a lot of people do say 448 you could do that again or breathing or prayer or happy visualization use whatever you need to do i'm going to go silent for one minute and do that right now then i come back and ask the gratitude um, meditation question.
Okay, hopefully everyone has done their own kind of centering that works for them to even have more peace in your consciousness right now. And we can continue with this gratitude meditation. And the gratitude meditation is a simple question that is designed to really bring out a sense of purpose and meaning during this very difficult time. And the gratitude meditation question is really simple. It's this, answer this question for yourself or this statement for yourself. In the end, I'm actually glad to a certain degree that this health crisis presented itself because I wasn't doing enough of this and fill in the blank that's specific for you. I needed to be doing more of that anyway. And dealing with this health crisis forced me to do this. It needed to be done this way because I wasn't doing it. And I needed to wake up and just do it. So therefore I'm grateful. That's the statement. So I'm going to go down the list and just say one thing that you are actually grateful for that this terrible health crisis, I'm not trying to put down how terrible this health crisis is, but every coin has another side. For every yin, there is a yang. Day must follow night. And so if you can, in your place of peace, which we have spent 10 to 12 minutes getting in touch with, state one thing that you're grateful for, that this terrible health crisis has actually caused this to happen in a way, forced this to happen in a way. And I'll model, I'll begin. Um, I'm grateful because I'll be honest, I'm going through some family personal problems and I'm working home from home for the last six months alone. And this world health crisis has caused my family, my wife and daughter to be home all the time. And it is a blessing for me during this personal family crisis that I'm going through and the aloneness that I was feeling. And I'm grateful for every single hour in the afternoon and in the morning that I can spend with them. And sometimes we're just taking walks. Sometimes we're just playing in the yard. And I'm grateful for all of it because I know when everything resets, which thank God it will, they won't be here as much. So I'm grateful for every moment that I have with them now. And I wasn't spending as much time with them as I could have been. So I'm grateful that I have this opportunity now. Okay. So I'm going to start from the bottom and go up. And if you don't want to share, just say pass or write in the chat box. I don't want to share. Starting with Shelley, what is one thing that you're grateful for that this health crisis has actually caused? Uh, Sherry, Sherry D, would you like to answer? Yes, I'm grateful for this time that has forced me to get a handle on my finances and be more aware of how I spend money and making cuts where I needed to. Great, thank you. Sharon. What is one thing you're grateful for during this terrible time? The only thing, um, it's a lot, well, let me just say the inner work, but um, it came to me yesterday that we only have now to love, that love is what created all of us, and that, you know, I'm grateful for all the lessons that I've learned so far. Thank you. Thank you, Sharon. Next is Nadia. Nadia, what is one thing that you're grateful for during this time? Um, hi, everybody. Um, I guess also the question was 
what what this health crisis showed that I should be doing more of. Is that how you worded it at the beginning? Which I kind of liked. That's kind fun. Of, um, to focus on, uh, but what I'm grateful for right now is, which actually crisis made me much more aware, right? Um, that uh, how much power this health crisis actually highlighted how much power do I have inside me to stay calm and to learn, continue learning. And I'm so grateful that this health crisis showed me that I can actually stay calm in this while living alone and also showed me that probably I should have focused more say on my supplements or my diet, you know, which is a good thing to kind of focus on keeping my immune system up. Good, good. Thank you. Next is Lisa. Lisa, what is one thing that you're grateful for during this time? Hello? Yes. Hello? I'm sorry, Hello. I couldn't figure out what to do. It wasn't unmuting. Um, I'm painting inside my house and moving things and cleaning and keeping busy doing things that I normally wouldn't have done. And it's given me time to do that. Yes, yes, thank you. Yes, I have to admit my yard looks better than it ever has. Um, next is Mindy. Thank you, Lisa. Next is Mindy. Mindy. Hi, Michael. Hello. I am grateful um, for this time that I had to um, spend a lot more time focusing on, on myself and not really um, worrying about what's going on with other people and, um, you know, of course, I'm concerned with their health and stuff. I don't mean it that way. But um, being in the house by myself, um, going to a lot of bar meetings and all the extra calls, I'm grateful for all of that because it's, um, it's really giving me that extra time, um, that little extra time each day to focus on myself and try to, and try to be more peaceful and, and figuring out things for myself. So I'm grateful for that. Thank you. Thank you. And Kim, what is one thing you're grateful for during this time? Hello? Yes. Hello? Um, yes. Um, thank you. Um, I'm grateful for this time to learn to manage quiet time and, and, and just accept stillness instead of all of the rushing and day-to-day -day and um, going from one activity or meeting to the next, uh, sometimes in order to just sort of push away feelings or uh, thoughts, this time has given me the ability to accept thoughts and stillness. Mm, thank you. Thank you very much. And so, for one minute, while we now have this feeling of gratitude in our hearts, I want us to just sit with the gratitude, which should be hopefully a feeling of peace, a feeling of calmness and stability. And also, one last thing to be grateful for, as we're now feeling the energy of gratitude, let's consciously emanate this gratitude energy to all of the essential workers who are required to be out there in the public. Everybody in the medical profession, I have several relatives who are working in hospitals right now. One of them did contract the virus. He's doing okay. All of the other essential workers in retail, groceries, pharmacies, 
all of our public servants who must go to work and be in the public at this time. And let's please, um, and they are working for our health and safety. And so please, let's have a moment of silence to end this call and emanate this gratitude energy to them. Okay, to end this meditation series, I just wanted to say if, if there is any of the meditations that you enjoyed hearing, or if you want to hear them all over again, um, please go to the BOM Training Institute for Family Recovery Services YouTube page, and you will see all the meditations there. Also, if you are a member of the BOM community, you can find many more meditations and classes that have been taught on deepening your experience of peace, on the, pe on the Be the Peace You Wish to See in the World course at bombtraininginstitute.com. Okay, so thank you everyone. Oh, also, um, someone you wanted to share here who wasn't able to talk because she's at work, that she's grateful for the time to be more aware of Jesus, her higher power, and how Jesus moved towards suffering and how I might align myself with him and follow him. I just wanted to share her um, gratitude sharing. And I apologize for Shelly, who's had a problem with her microphone, wasn't able to attend this uh, share on this call. So thank you everyone for participating in this meditation series. And we hope to see you soon in the future for any new bomb offerings that we might be having that may be maybe even extended, just check your weekly call list. Have a good day, everyone, and remember to be a loving mirror. Thank you.